What's up guys, welcome back to another penny stock video. Got something pretty sweet today, which the ticker is M-I-C-T. It's in the top left-hand corner, by the way. This stock is getting some pretty big catalysts, including buying some pretty big insurance companies in China and even buying a broker. What's going on? Are they trying to be like the next big Robin Hood overseas? This is something that's being asked about M-I-C-T. It's a fairly dangerous play. This is a penny stock, and obviously it's worth a couple dollars because it's not really doing so well. But at the same time, we're getting some pretty big institutions buying into the stock, which makes it look pretty appealing. Before we get started, keep in mind that I do not own any shares of this company, and this video is obviously for entertainment purposes only. If you guys haven't checked out the free Discord server, please do so. Link in the description below. More than 28,000 members. It's free to join. There's also a Patreon link below for exclusive chat room perks. So the stock price is doing pretty well. Volume, it's increasing. Volume used to be pretty lousy at less than half a million per day, and that's extremely bad for a penny stock. But recently, the volume is hitting like at one point, 115 million. That's pretty insane. And then 21 million, it's usually hovering about maybe 10, 5, 8 million around that region. It's looking pretty decent. So the volume is going up and the share prices did drop to a low price of $1.45. And now it's at roughly $2.48. There's a pretty big catalyst. One good thing about this penny stock, and if you just look at the graph, is instead of a massive spike up, and a big plummet, it's going up in little waves. Slow and steady growth is what I like it. Nothing too crazy. In good days, they usually tend to go up like five, six percent. A good penny stock, in my opinion, that's honestly pretty tamed and pretty normal, and you kind of want to get the more stable ones, is they go up like nice and slow, nice and slow. That way, you know, investors aren't really too freaked out about it. We're also getting some pretty big institutional buyers, including BlackRock. BlackRock is honestly a pretty big owner of this stock. They own roughly like 2.3% of the overall company. BlackRock hasn't really been selling any shares and they're simply holding onto the stock. On top of that, you have several other funds out there increasing the shares and that's pretty nice. What's even cooler is one of the biggest buyers recently in the most recent quarter reports was you do have institutional buyers. One of the biggest institutional buyers for MICT is Vanguard. Vanguard essentially bought 2.7 million shares of the stock. Look at this, this is the Vanguard Group plus 2.7 million. Everyone else like Credit Suisse, Merrill Lynch, for example, only bought maybe 10, 20, 30,000 shares, but the Vanguard Group, they went in pretty hard on this 2.7 million shares. And honestly, in my opinion, this could be a pretty big gamble on this stock. So there's some pretty big upcoming catalysts including MICT announcing the closing of roughly 60 million registered direct offering and it's priced at the market. And this is by NASDAQ rules. It closed it, offering a price at $2.67. And this also includes a leak out agreement. Institutions cannot sell shares for a period of time. That's pretty good. And by the way, they also said that they would not be doing an offering for 90 days, which is three months. So MICT, they're not super greedy. They seem to care about the company. They want to raise some capital. They need to do other things with the money because some pretty big things coming up. But at the same time, they also tell investors that, hey, we would not be doing another one of these offerings again for the next 90 days. Like I've seen companies, especially these penny stocks, they do one stock offering this week and they do another one the next week. And then like a third one, the third week. And that's pretty bad. That's massive stock dilution, whereas MICT actually gives investors a peace of mind saying, okay, we're not gonna be doing any of that crazy stuff. We're just gonna be doing this one major cash raise and that's it. And by the way, they also closed the acquisition of Global Fintech Holdings and with $15 million in committed funding. Now, what's really interesting about this is this eventually led up to this thing. MICT enters an agreement to acquire a Hong Kong securities investment firm. Serving China, they got Hong Kong and the United States. MICT to pay up $3 million in cash for 100% of the firm. This firm is extremely small, but what's really interesting is who knows, it could be making some sort of a major brokerage and this is a little bit similar to a fintech company. Now, obviously though, buying a tiny little firm, and this is an overall penny stock, it seems kind of silly to even look at it. 
But if you really think about it, a lot of these penny stocks have been doing some things. If it does catch the attention of a lot of retail traders or institutions, we could be seeing a massive surge in the price, especially how BlackRock, Vanguard are already really big stakeholders of MICT. MICT will have the ability to launch a stock trading platform very similar to Robinhood or Webull in Hong Kong. That's a pretty big, massive opportunity, especially how there's several brokerages over there that are making a ton of cash. Now, obviously, though, spending three million bucks for a tiny little firm in Hong Kong isn't gonna be like the coolest thing. But if the leadership is good and they did raise like several million dollars, I think they could reinvest that money into this firm and maybe make some sort of a tiny fintech brokerage. I mean, we've been seeing a lot of these things like SoFi. I mean, they do like bank managing, stuff like that. Fintech companies, yes, are pretty hard to make, but they're really not that hard. I feel like if they invest several million dollars into this firm and create some sort of a fintech company, it could be a pretty big deal. And this is what everyone is talking about. And people are getting pretty excited about MICT. So far, MICT is also trying to secure some sort of like licensing and also trying to get into the insurance business. This is also pretty big and they are trying to acquire some of these insurance companies in China, which insurance is going up. How do I feel about this MICT stock? I'm not super great about this. I'm not like bad about this, but I'm a little bit fuzzy in the middle because these guys, they are a penny stock, but at the same time, they do gain a lot of trust from the major institutions that are purchasing this company, which makes it pretty nice. And also you do have the price target from several different Wall Street analysts of $6, which is pretty insane. Right now, the share price is $2.44. $6 is pretty big. MICT essentially is this little tech firm and they've been acquiring other major companies. I think the major cash raise could be used to acquire other companies or maybe make some sort of a fintech company. If this penny stock legit just says, hey, we acquired the Hong Kong firm, we will be making some sort of a small stock trading platform for the region, share prices will absolutely react really well. Right now, there's really not that much activity. They did do this cash raise. This is why the stock really isn't doing so well. It's really just hovering around this region and not really doing that much. It's just simply chilling. And it's a pretty decent, a stable stock at this current moment. It's already at a really low price. At one point, these guys are at like five, six, seven dollars at one point, eight dollars and 45 cents. And now they're at a low, low price of two dollars and 42 cents. At one point, these guys hit two dollars and 89 cents. It's already been a little plummet. It's already catching the attention of a lot of retail traders. I'm pretty curious about what they're doing. The major cash raise is a big deal behind all of this. If they didn't do any sort of a cash raise, then I wouldn't really be looking at the stock. It's kind of fuzzy for this. It's really up to you to decide. Definitely do your own due diligence. Check out the stock yourself. Make sure you guys like it. And then, hey, a lot of cool penny stocks are coming up. There's a lot of penny stocks recently that did a total 180 degrees turn, going from a few bucks or a few pennies to several dollars or a couple bucks. So penny stocks recently have been getting a lot of attention. And some of these penny stocks have recently been getting some really good fundamentals, which is pretty phenomenal. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below.